Hi, my name is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Here at Atlantic Laser Scanning, we rent and sell LiDAR units, drone-based LiDAR units. And today we're going to show you how to initiate data collection for the LiDAR unit after it's mounted to the drone prior to takeoff. So in this case, our drone has had the LiDAR unit mounted on it. In this case, it's a DJI M300 drone. The LiDAR unit is a Hasai XT32 Recepta unit from Inertial Labs. Once this is mounted, the USB has been installed, the drone has been powered up, and then the LiDAR unit is powered up. We now need to connect to the Wi-Fi on the LiDAR unit itself. So if you, in this case, we are in the office, we're going to have to choose the Recepi LiDAR you see on the screen, and then wait for that to connect fully to the LiDAR unit itself. Once we've chosen it here, give it a few seconds, and it's going to let us know that we are connected to the LiDAR unit itself, and then we're going to log into the Recepi Inertial Labs website off of the LiDAR unit. There it is. Now we are going to open our internet. We'll go to the site, as you can see at the top of the screen. The address is 192.168.12.1. If you obviously haven't done this before, the password is listed below. Now that we are connected, we are directly speaking to the LiDAR unit. You can see we've got 15 satellite uh, satellites we're communicating with. That is simply because the, the drone is indoors right now as we do this. And uh, outdoors, we would have over 30 satellites generally uh, in connection. So just uh, it's a little different being inside. We're going to go down and start with the project name. We can give the project whatever the appropriate name is and hit save then we're going to go up to the storage option in this case there is no previous projects on the usb um, stick but uh, my workflow personally is to go ahead and format uh, every usb prior to flying I don't want to have any previous projects uh, with that data confusing me when I'm going into post-processing. Uh, in this case, it's a brand new stick. There's really no need to do the format. So we're just going to go ahead and let that go. And then go into the settings option and geometry. And then just scroll straight down to the camera trigger. In this case, you can see it's already set on three seconds. Because this flight is about seven to seven and a half miles per hour, the camera trigger set at three seconds is appropriate. So we can go back up to the top of the screen here and then go to our original opening screen. the status, and all that's left to do is hit the start button. Once you do hit the start button, walk up to your drone, listen for the camera, begin to click. Once this clicking begins, you know you've started collecting data with the LiDAR unit. Now, before flying, you wanna wait 30, I prefer 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, go ahead and initiate the drone flight, go through your calibration and your mapping flight routes, and then come back. 